फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल लर्न विद गिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव इनवाइटेड सब एसआईजी हु रिसेंटली गॉट अ जॉब इन द पावर बीए रोल एज अ फ्रेशर एंड इट टुक हिम 6 मंथ्स ऑफ हार्ड वर्क टू अचीव एंड अराइव एट दिस पर्टिकुलर पोजीशन यू विल डेफिनेटली रिलेट विद हिज जर्नी सो डू वॉच दिस वीडियो कंप्लीटली टिल द एंड सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो एंड बिफोर दैट इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल देन डू सब्सक्राइब इट एंड हिट द बेल आइकन टू स्टे अपडेटेड विद ऑल द कमिंग यूजफुल वीडियोस बिकॉज़ यू वोंट फाइंड कंटेंट लाइक दिस एनीवेयर एल्स ऑन YouTube प्लस यू कैन आल्सो फॉलो मी ऑन Instagram वेयर यू विल फाइंड जॉब रिलेटेड अपडेट्स रेगुलरली एज़ वेल एज़ शॉर्ट वीडियोस ऑन डेटा एनालिटिक्स डोमेन एंड फ्रेंड्स डू हिट द लाइक बटन ऑफ दिस वीडियो बिकॉज़ इट इज कंप्लीटली फ्री फॉर यू एंड योर वन लाइक विल गिव मी द मोटिवेशन टू क्रिएट मोर वीडियोस लाइक दिस नाउ लेट्स हेड टुवर्ड्स द सेशन Hi sir, Sachi. How are you? Hello sir, I am good sir. How about you? Uh, I am also doing good. So, Sir Sachi, I have already uh, given your introduction to the audience. So, let's directly start with the first question. So, tell the audience about your educational background a little bit. Yeah. Okay, sir. So, my hello all. Myself, uh, Sabya Sachi Bhattacharji. Uh, actually, I am from uh, Agartala, Tripura, and I have done my schooling from there. and then after i have uh, moved to west bengal and uh, have completed my graduation in bachelor of technology in electronics and communication engineering okay. this year in the month of june so uh, was there any coding in your branch yes i have uh, my coding uh, in the first year of my college uh, we have been taught c but uh, i actually used to like python uh, more than c and i have learned python in second year of my college itself okay fine yeah so how did you get to know about data analytics domain okay so uh, when i was in my third year i have explored some of the technical domains uh, especially in web development and in uh, data science domain so i uh, didn't get that much uh, confident uh, in uh, web developmental domain but when i uh, get into data science and data analytics and all i have been more uh, passionate about this domain so i thought let's explore it uh, deeply and in this way i have uh search for the free resources from youtube search for different uh, play uh, road maps and all and uh, used to very much active on linkedin as well and uh, get some uh, materials articles and all so from that onwards i have started so from third year you figured out in which uh, domain you have interest in and then you figured out that okay data analyst data analytics is the one which i should go for yes right so yeah. uh as you said that you learned the data analyst skills so what skills did you learn during that period that means uh, uh, after in third year and final year right yes yes so uh, yeah, when i started my journey i have uh, I, i have gone through the road maps and all so i came across that there are mainly four skills mainly required mainly yeah mainly four skills with a a uh, coding or programming language python would be a greater advantage so i have uh, first i started my learning with uh, ms excel and then uh, any kind of data visualization tool so i have chosen power bi then tableau and then mysql and as i have a certain knowledge of python so also added that part so excel sql power bi and python yes yeah okay so you told that you used free resources during your college final years right yes so yeah. what free resources you used okay so i have uh, uh, came across from uh, linkedin uh, from your post as well that uh, you are uh, means you have uh, youtube videos and all then i go gone to youtube i have be- very much benefited with uh, your videos learn with geeks and also one channel uh, code basics youtube channel so from there they have a playlist uh, called uh, project playlist okay. so from those two channels i have been very much benefited so this is about like uh, this is about power bi right power yes this is about power bi so power and bi you followed learn with gigs and code basics right? yes code basics and okay. uh, talking about excel i have used uh, alex uh, one channel from alex okay. and uh, yeah there is another channel chandu Okay. uh something from uh, youtube and i have uh, preferred ankit bansal youtube channel for sql uh, okay problems and all yeah so uh, what about the college placement so did you get the college placement or what happened eventually okay 
okay so uh, at the starting of my final year uh, as the recession is going on and also uh, due to recession not that much amount of company actually came but i get uh, uh, two offers from the uh, placement means uh, college placement but not uh, of uh, that uh, means it was basically on the software domain and as i in the third year i have been decided that i won't go into software industry so i have uh, i didn't join that okay yeah. yeah so you rejected the offer uh, that you got from the college sorry company mm. so uh, how did your parents react to this and were they supporting you for doing this yeah my parents have uh, supported me for this uh, my parents have told me that uh, do whatever you like uh, do uh, do whatever uh, domain you choose there is no issue with that so they actually support me and uh, i have been very much uh, helpful with that okay so parents always supported for your decision that you took yes yes okay that's great point so like you said that you completed graduation in june so after yeah. that what you did eventually okay uh, so after my graduation uh, i have been uh, on one side i have been uh, learning from the free resources then i thought that okay uh, on one side i have been appearing for different companies and, and, and another side just to uh, just to stop you here so how much time did you took to learn all those skills for free all those skills how much time did you took it had uh, took me uh, seven to eight months actually so seven to eight months you prepared from the free resources and from the free resources and after that your graduation completed and then yeah yes. you can continue now yes after my graduation i uh, on uh, one side i have been appearing for uh, means i have been searching for different jobs and uh, then i thought that okay uh, i have been now uh, approaching a structured approach so i came to a uh, data analytics boot camp from code basis itself so okay. after my graduation i have enrolled into that boot camp and started uh, learning more deeply the data analytics so what was uh, the primary reason you wanted to learn in a structured way so that's why you yeah, yeah in a stuck yes yes for a boot camp yeah okay so uh, so friends like i i will provide the link of the boot camp in the description box so you can check it out if you also want to learn all the skills from that boot camp okay yes so uh, after that like you you went ahead with the boot camp you learned the skills then what happened how did you okay. what happened in in july august did you did you, did you get any interview call okay yeah after attending the boot camps and all in the month of august uh, i actually got an internship offer from the linkedin itself because i have been uh, on the span of uh, from january to uh, till uh, august i have been very much active in linkedin and i used to share my learnings my projects certification and all uh, into so the linkedin so you were basically creating your online presence on linkedin right Yes, I have been uh, creating my uh, online presence and also started networking with the different employee of organize different employees of different organization and all. So based on that, I have very much benefited, and on the basis of that, I get the internship offer. So you got the internship offer. Like, how did you actually get? Because did you apply for it or okay. what happened? Yeah. actually i uh, as i have told that i have um, used the approach uh, i have been approaching to different uh, employees of organization so in the same way i have approached uh, uh, some of the employees and from their side uh, uh, means uh, my approach was like that i used to give a connection note and after they accepted i uh, give a, a short uh, introduction of myself my skills and uh, my power, data analytics portfolio along with my power bi portfolio and uh, lastly my resume attached so doing following these steps i actually got two three responses and some of them have told that okay i will let you know if there would be some opportunities but uh, one of the uh, one of the actually co-founders of a startup had appro approached me that okay uh, we will conduct an interview and the, i So you, the whole so you used to okay so you talked about that whenever somebody accepted your request so you used to message them personally about mm. your uh, application right so you used yeah. to uh, tell your uh, details plus you used to attach your uh, portfolio link right separately yeah. for power bi and from for other skills right for data analytics uh, also i want uh, so that's I, a I very that's a very important point for all the freshers looking out for job because if you yeah. want to 
get a job in the current competitive market you need to have a separate portfolio of your projects right yes. as he as sabhasachi said that he has he had created a separate portfolio for power bi and similarly he created portfolio for other skills so for uh, for power bi which platform did you use to create the portfolio i have uh, used novi pro for uh, hosting my uh, power bi projects so that's what i want to tell to the audience that your portfolio is your wealth basically yes. as a fresher right yes yes so okay this is about portfolio mm. and uh, you used to connect with people and send all these details to them and you got some uh, reply from few people right mm. so mm. how how what was the uh, frequency of the response okay. so out of 10 uh, if eight people uh, accept my request two to three people actually uh, proceed with the further uh, rounds session. and all yes okay so uh, you talked about resume also ats friendly resume so what was the structure of your resume as well as what uh, what was the ats score of the resume okay so my ats score uh, was uh, act, um, means overall ats score basically uh, was 82 uh, okay. and uh, from i actually used the approach of while applying to different jobs different uh, job application have different job description so okay. based on their job description i used to actually uh, categorize my resume based on that based on the different uh, structural keywords and all so uh, based on different jds based uh, my ats score uh, actually ranks used from say, used to vary actually yeah. but it actually varies above 75 75 to 90 it's the range so you told about that you got this internship so was it a paid in- internship yes it was a paid internship and i have been paid uh, 18000 monthly and it was uh, and it was for 3 months 18000 per month and it was for overall 3 months yes so after completing the internship what next step did you do okay after completing my internship my first goal was to uh, look for a full time job opportunity okay. so i actually used the same approach that i used for the internship from uh, linkedin and also i uh, added uh, nokri Uh, for job hunting as well and uh, all uh, job hunting so i i uh, wants to add one more thing that i use the approach that in in uh, actually in nokri when i just search for power bi developer or data analytics job all the job listing came up and i actually look for those job listing where the recruiter mail or recruiter name is given so right. what i what i actually do uh, get their name and search on linkedin and uh, send them personalized request and do the further process so it helped me a lot mm-hmm. yeah yeah that's a nice way to uh, create uh, opportunity for yourself so that's a very good point every fresher should implement this so yes wonderful so you said that you you use the same approach so after how much time uh, you got this final uh, interview call where you are currently working okay so after one month actually i have uh, uh, my internship get over on october uh, september end and uh, i got the opportunity this month okay. so one and half month it's uh, it was a range of one and half month after my internship uh, my parents were uh, very much happy and uh, actually they were mainly happy because i get into that domain that i actually wants to do and also uh, my uh, f- uh, my current organization i am working remote and they are also more uh, happy with that actually okay so when you yeah. got the interview call for this for your current company so mm-hmm. on which particular uh, skill you were being interviewed so in both my internship as well as my current uh, company i have been interviewed mainly on power bi Okay. Uh, so in my current uh, uh, company uh, on my interview i have been interviewed uh, fully on power bi and there were two rounds one is technical and another one is hr so in your current company if i talk about your salary i believe you get you are getting more than 18000 which you were, which you used to get in the internship right yes okay wonderful and one question i would like to add or i would like to ask over here is like you talked about resume right so i want to ask one more question on the resume part so how many projects did you mention in your uh, resume and which skill did you uh, utilize okay so uh, in my resume i have uh, mentioned uh, two projects from power bi one from sql and uh, one from python uh, okay. <coughs> yeah 
and i and i have uh, meant i have also added for the full time role i have also added my internship experience as well okay and yeah. did you go for microsoft certification also as no currently currently i don't uh, have, means i don't have uh, thought of that but uh, in 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 upcoming uh, times i will surely go for the pl300 certification what advice would you like to give to the freshers who are currently looking for the jobs in the market okay so i would like to uh, tell to the aspiring data analyst and also for the freshers that uh, don't lose hope even it was the recession period but you can uh, crack uh, the companies you have to be very much active uh, on linkedin uh, itself uh, just uh, do share your learnings do share your projects build a uh, online presence uh, over the linkedin and also try to actually um, look opportunities or look uh, job uh, do job hunting uh, apart from linkedin as well like nokri indeed hirec.com and if as i have already mentioned if you get uh, the the recruiter mail so get those uh, recruiter names or mail id and so basically target those vacancies where you are getting the recruiters mail and all right yeah i mean target uh, all uh, target all companies not uh, very much specific to those but uh, it uh, your chances of uh, selecting would be more if you just uh, grab uh, if you uh, grab their names and then you just search uh, over to linkedin then uh, it would it would be better then after connection uh, you can tell that okay i i got a job opportunity in uh, nokri uh, can you please refer me for this position so it would be very high chance of uh, selecting you so i believe uh, audience will definitely relate with your journey and definitely they will learn a lot and get, get the insights what they want yeah. so thank you so much for coming sabesachi and thank you so much for sharing your experience yeah thank you so much sir for having me uh, here and it, it it was a nice experience